Hey everyone and welcome to a new vlog. I haven't done one for a little while. I've actually had a slight break from videos in general actually for the last week or so um, but I'm back with another one today and I'm just getting ready to head out on a walk but I do have a bit of a purpose today because I'm going to try and take some photos and with that in mind I just wanted to mention the sponsor of today's video which is Skillshare. You guys know I absolutely love Skillshare. It's an online learning community that has thousands of classes on everything creative so photography art crafting anything you can possibly think of social media if you're looking to improve things like that it's perfect for everyone looking to explore their creativity or if you're looking for help with something specific and something i've really been having trouble with lately is instagram mainly inspiration of instagram because at the moment there's just not much going on i go out for my walk and i feel like where i live there is not really anything going on so i really do struggle as to what to post on instagram and the class i've been doing is by hannah argyle and it's called photography for instagram um capture and share your life i think it's called and the main focus of it is how to take really good photos without having grand settings so she very much takes pictures around where she lives even if the setting isn't that exciting or you're not going anywhere you know like when i'm going to florida there's a million different things to take photos of but this one is very much focused on finding really simple but great things to take pictures of so on my walk I'm not necessarily going to take a load of pictures today but I'm really going to kind of take in my surroundings and see if I can you know see things that I would take photos of that I perhaps wouldn't normally have noticed and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium Skillshare membership and once your trial is over with an annual membership it's less than ten dollars a month so it's well worth it I absolutely love it anytime I need help with anything creative I always turn to Skillshare and there's always something on there to help me. So I'm going to head out for this walk and we'll see what we can see. later on now and I'm having a little Joffrey's coffee. I'm um, sorry if you can hear Ian by the way, his office is just behind me and um, he's on a work call so sorry if you can hear that. Um, yeah just having a coffee, I'm having, what have I got today? Riviera which is really really good and I'm just figuring out um, what to make for dinner tonight. We're going to do a Hello Fresh, and I'm trying to decide which one. Some of the ones we have are definitely something that Ian would have. So Ian, this is definitely one of his. So we've got firecracker fried chicken which I think he's had before. Um, fajita chicken is another one that, I mean we probably both would eat that but probably more Ian. Um, then I have this rigatoni caprice, is that how you say it? Caprice? Caprice? Anyway, however you say that. Um, I've never had this one before and that does actually look really good. And then I also have a bacon and butternut squash risotto. Whenever I get this one though, I do replace the bacon with mushrooms that I just buy myself. So I don't know, maybe maybe the risotto. I think I might have the risotto because I'm actually feeling like I can be bothered to cook it. Sometimes the risotto can feel a bit annoying. Although it only says total time 40 minutes. Oh, this one's 30. But yeah, I think I'll probably make that one tonight anyway, and maybe Ian will have one of these other ones. We've actually really been loving HelloFresh, and I don't have it every single week. Occasionally, when I look through the recipes, I think, oh, no, like I'm not a huge fan of those, or there's nothing Ian would like or whatever. So yeah, I do skip it some weeks, but it's, it's actually really, really good. And I think at the moment I do have... Um, I know with the code you can always get an amount of money off um, a box if you've never tried it before but I think I actually did have a free box. I'm not sure. I have a code anyway um, which I'll put in the description. Full disclosure it is a referral code so I get some credit and then you guys would get some credit. But if you've never tried it before and you want to um, check out the link that I've put in and it may or may not be a free box or some money off i can't remember um, but yeah it is amazing it's really good if you're if you're like me and you're not great at cooking you don't love cooking it's just very very easy so yeah definitely i will show you later when i make that and i also need to redo my nails because for some reason they are all snapping off and breaking so i need to do that later as well but right now i'm going to go back upstairs and finish editing and yeah, I'll let you know how I'm getting on in a bit. Later. So it's later on now and it's time for the Hello Fresh. So I've got my recipe, I've got my risotto rice. I'm adding a leek, which is not actually part of the recipe and also some mushrooms. I do sometimes go a little bit off piste with the, the recipe and add other stuff in if I've got it. And then I've got the cheese, some stock powder, butternut squash, parsley, a lemon. And actually I think there's, no, there's two of those. 
I don't know, is that one supposed to be there? Who knows? Um, so yes, we are going to get cooking. So we are underway. I've got my rice and my leeks in here in my beaten up old risotto pan. Yes, it made it here to the new house. I'm never getting rid of it ever, even though it has seen better days. And then over here, I've got my mushrooms. Oh, steaming up the camera. Then in there, we have the butternut squash, which we add in pretty much towards the end, I think. So that's looking pretty ready. So I'm gonna put my mushrooms in and the butternut squash, and then we're gonna add the cheese. Oh, it smells really good. I wish you guys could smell this. So I've now added the cheese and a little bit of pepper, and that is pretty much it. And the final little touch is the parsley. It actually looks pretty good. You guys are getting steamed up, so I'm gonna go and eat this. So it's later on now and it's treadmill time. And I don't know if you guys have even seen this room. You can hear how echoey it is. Uh, this is actually where, as you can see, I have the treadmill in the corner, but ultimately this is Ian's VR room. Hence why it is a completely empty room. So he's got loads of space to play VR. This is actually supposed to be a lounge. This is on the second floor of the house, the upstairs. Um, and this was the decor that they already had in here. We haven't done anything. Um, but yeah, for now, this is an empty room, but this is where I do my workouts. So I'm gonna do that now. I've been really, really doing my treadmill every day. I'm quite proud of myself. Um, and it is working, it's having an effect. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So I have to show you guys what came in the post today. Please excuse my nails, they are half on and half off. <laughs> they look absolutely terrible. So this box arrived from the lovely Adam Hatton, as you can see, so this is gifted. And this is his new morning collection, which comes out on Friday. Um, you should be seeing this vlog Thursday, so it'll be out tomorrow in theory, if this vlog has gone up on the right day. Um, I have already looked at this because I showed it on the live stream, but I just did it back up because it's very cute. Look how cool this box is. And he has a new range of candles and obviously the morning merch. So we're just going to take a look at this. And it even has this lovely tissue, which is amazing. So in here we have this, which is everything. I definitely will be wearing that. I love, love, love the baseball cap. And one of the super exciting things that he's launching are Disney scented candles. And I've already smelled these. Like I said, I showed them on the live stream and Oh my goodness. So I've got here the Soaring Serengeti. And when you're riding a Soarin' in Epcot and you go over the Serengeti, you get that kind of earthy smell, um, but it's got like a really fresh smell with it as well. I'll show you it in a second. And I've also got the Pineapple Lani, I think is how you say that, uh, which smells just like a Dull Whip. But there's also one which is Spaceship Earth themed, um, the Sweet Soap Suds, um, Big Top Confectionery, and there's another one that smells um, kind of like Flight of Passage Pandora type smell. So I definitely wanna get the others because they all sound amazing, but I've got two of them here. So this is the um, Soaring Serengeti and they're really, really nice quality. They're in these tins, as you can see, and they're like a three wick candle. And it really does, I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, it really does smell like that part of the attraction. It's amazing. Um, it's a really sort of earthy, grassy kind of smell, but like very fresh it's really hard to describe because it sounds like obviously like we're describing it as earthy it smells really really good and this one is just my absolute favorite and i was saying on the live stream not only does it smell so it's really hard to do with one hand not only does it smell like pineapple it, it just has the exact smell of dull whip oh, i honestly i cannot tell you how good this candle smells i am like blown away by that um, so as well as that he has also sent me the canvas bag and it's not your kind of average really thin tote bag you know those kind of fabricy ones you get this is like a proper really really nice quality canvas bag with the morning design and then we also have the tea towel which i love i just think that is awesome that's going to look so good in the kitchen and he has also sent me the t-shirt which i absolutely love so huge thanks to adam for sending me this amazing package and i just cannot wait to smell the other candles i will definitely be placing an order on friday um i'll leave all the details in the description of this video um like i said it comes out on friday so i think i can still link though to his website so you'll be able to um order that as of friday i'll put it on instagram as well but yes, very, very excited for the other candles for sure. And I also have to show you my latest purchase from Shop Disney because I am 
obsessed with this. And this is a collaboration between Disney and Jared Mariwama. I think is how you pronounce, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. And this set of three bowls, when I saw this on Shop Disney, I mean, first of all, let's just take a moment to appreciate who is right there, Mr. Toad, can't even, I mean, what is going on? Um, we've also got Orange Bird, you've got all sorts of different park icons on there, some mini ears, tiki room, and little spaceship earth with a smiley face. I honestly just love, love, love this. And on the inside, it has the small world icon and this kind of spotty design. I am just so obsessed with this bowl so obsessed it's bigger than like a cereal bowl um you could like have popcorn or something in there but i just i needed it in my life i don't really know what i'm doing with it but it doesn't matter i had to have it and there's also the medium sized one has the little spaceship earth guy the castle it also has um everest there and you've got a Mickey ice cream sandwich and the outside is like this stripy design. And then the smallest one, which is super cute, has a doll whip, a turkey leg and the Mickey ears. And what have we got there? Popcorn as well. And on the outside you have Dumbo and around here is the teacup. I'm just so obsessed with these. I do think that the bowl set may have sold out on Shop Disney UK. Um, however, there are some other things in the range, so I will link it below just in case you're interested in checking it out. But I, it was this bowl, the big one, with Mr. Toad and Spaceship Earth. I just had to have it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, uh, yes that's happening so yeah that is my latest purchase from shop disney so i'm all done on the treadmill looking pretty sweaty still got my makeup on i just went on i normally just go on the treadmill in the evening and i've often still got makeup on i'm just like yeah whatever so all done and um yeah it's been a good day today i feel like i've got quite a lot done i'm really really loving doing my walking i'm enjoying it so much and throughout a lot of the pandemic i kind of haven't been outside a lot i was just using my treadmill but now i'm doing both i don't really see the exercise like the walking outside so much as exercise my treadmill is my actual like exercise and i walk quite fast on there but getting outside for me is now just like very therapeutic more than exercise i just really enjoy it the weather's been a bit nicer and yeah it's very very good feeling good it's been a funny start to the year for sure i think everybody would agree but yeah it definitely does feel like the world is turning a corner there's definitely still you know a way to go but yeah feeling positive feeling good so i'm gonna leave it there for tonight i'm gonna take my makeup off get in bed because i'm feeling super tired i actually do feel quite tired i don't know if it's all the walking maybe um so i will see you guys in the morning good morning i am rushing around today <laughs> i meant to pick up the camera earlier i've just got done filming a video I'm still trying to finish off this vlog, unbelievably, which is going up today. So last minute, not good, um, but I am really, really hurrying around. We've also got a podcast that needs to happen. Um, we're thinking we may potentially start doing the podcast over on Disney in Detail on a Monday because it is just timing wise really not a good idea for us to try and do it on a friday so we think we might change it to a monday um so yeah we're just figuring that out uh, but it's just been a crazy crazy morning i was like oh my gosh like what's going on i haven't even vlogged ah um which is kind of good in a way because it does make time go quickly especially you know we're in a in a lockdown in a pandemic we don't want time to be dragging but yeah certainly not around here today so i just went out for a quick walk i didn't really have the time but i did it anyway i really really needed a walk so i've done that it started raining on me so i headed back so it wasn't a very long walk and now i'm just finishing off this vlog so yeah it should go up today it might be a little bit later than normal but i'm getting there two hours later i don't think i ever showed you guys this i did a photo book from Popsa and um, it does say 2020 lockdown life you can't really see it very well there and it's basically a year in review photo album and Popsa was so easy to use I absolutely loved it so I'll just quickly show you some of it and I went for the glossy finished paper so it really feels like kind of regular photo paper so this was early in the year I don't know if you guys remember we did the Lego Central Perk um, this was a dinner out with Lisa that I had and very early in the year I also saw my friend Libby and Brogan Ian and I went on a trip to Cornwall in February that was when Storm Dennis was happening so that was not long before lockdown then I've just got some pictures here from me and my mum buying fabric in Birmingham then of course I have quite a few pages of my Disney trip because that was the biggest thing to happen in 2020 
so that was February and March and then it goes into lockdown life so there was the first haircut I gave Ian uh, the Quarren trim if you remember that and this is when we went back to Coverack in September when we were allowed to travel for a short period of time before lockdown happened again then mine and Lisa's birthdays our birthdays are seven days apart so we went shopping on Lisa's birthday but obviously in masks and that was just my birthday presents and stuff then obviously buying the house and moving out of the flats and then another masked hair appointment that was just before Christmas and then finally lockdown Christmas so I just wanted to show you that I really loved it it was a kind of a funny year so there's not an awful lot that happened but I just definitely wanted to have a 2020 photo book so I will link pops are below it's not sponsored or gifted or anything like that but I just really liked it so yeah I will link it below and I'm also about to do a Joffrey's order you probably can't see that very well because it comes out weird when you're filming the screen but they have a new Mickey Mouse blend which is a brand new one so I'm getting some of that Riviera Resorts um, I'm getting the French Bistro because that's the one you actually get in the room at Disney especially in the DVC rooms um, then I'm getting more of the Winter Wonderland I thought they got rid of that and they haven't and I love that one and the apple crumb cake one and the cocoa cookie oats those are all my favorites and i think that is going to about do it for this vlog excuse all my um filming stuff behind me it's just all over the place again i don't know how long this vlog is going to be at the moment vlogging is a little bit strange but i know you guys like to be updated and i haven't done one for a little while so i hope you're still enjoying them i will be having a bit more of a regular routine with videos it's just been a funny kind of few weeks really but i will be trying to be a bit more consistent with these vlogs and as always, I just want to say a huge thank you for watching, for always supporting both the channels here and Disney in detail and everything else you do. You guys are awesome and I hope you're all staying safe and well and that everyone is okay. So as always, I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.